morning um got a beautiful day here i've just been sitting in the garden gathering thoughts thinking about uh what we're going to discuss with you guys today and um it wasn't until i sat here and just looked in the thing i saw my tattoo and i thought you know what that's going to be a great subject because i think it's uh something that i can discuss from personal point of view and hopefully people can relate to it so my tattoo says successful due to a fear of failure um that doesn't mean i've always been successful i i, I feared i feared things now um like being scared and f having fear are two very different things for me they don't they don't mean the same thing now i didn't live in fear of uh, shooting clays or anything like that my fear came from my father now i've grown up watching my father be successful in pretty much everything that he did you know he but he created his own success nothing was given to him he was just a hard working man that hard that did everything for his family and i just found myself dying to emulate him dying to make him proud and um it held me back it didn't drive me forward like um you think it would the uh the fear of um not being able to go home and tell him that I was world champion or coming down off the last layout. Like, did you win it, son? And I was like, nah, I shot 22, that is silver again. Because I don't know if many people know, I got a silver medal at the World Fit Ass almost four years in a row. And I lost to different people each time. And I sat at home, I'm like, damn. You know, I'm not being beat by one guy here. I know I'm good enough. And I was like, what, what's holding me back? What am I scared of? And having that ability to sit down and rip yourself apart, you know, it can bring you to tears sometimes that you think, I'm going to have to self-destruct here to find out what it was. And that's what I figured it out, you know. Christ, I've just come second at a world championship of 1,100 people. I'm a silver medalist. And why am I not happy? Why am I not excited? And I think one of the biggest things, my dad's not an emotional person. He's very, you know, man's man. You know, men do this and men do that. And it wasn't really until I sat down with my mother and she's like, you know, your dad's really proud of everything you've done. He's like, but mommy, don't show it. He's like, well, you know, he's never going to, but, and he was like, wow, you know, and I could feel myself welling up and he was like, but if, if he's proud, why am I disappointed? And I made, I promised myself from that day forward, I'm, I was going to shoot in a different light, in a different way. And uh, the next year I won the World Fit Ass. It was, um, and I rang my dad. I'll never forget it was in America. Um, I couldn't uh, really afford to go. A lot of people clubbed together to get me there. And I uh, had a tremendous shoot off against Anthony Matarese and George and won, won the World Fit Ass. And I called my father to tell him and I was, you know, he said, well, very well documented. I was in tears sitting on the layout. And I called him up and I said, Dad, I'm world champion. And he's like, Ben, it's four in the fucking morning. Dude. <laughs> And instead of being upset about it, I laughed about it. And I was like, I know, I know you just hung up and you think, yeah, he's done it. He's, he's achieved his goal. So some of that will ring true with some of you. Some of it won't. But um, what is your fear? Do you fear missing? Because if that's the worst thing that's happened to you on a shooting ground, we can fix that together with some classes because... We're always going to miss. I've said it before, the World Championships are not won on 200. So missing is going to be a part of it. So jot some notes down. Jot some notes down. And what are my fears in shooting? When I get there, what do I fear the most? Is it the letdown of somebody else? Is it fear of um, not winning? You won't be able to write on Facebook. And I think that may sound daft. To some of you. But a lot of people are social media led and the fear of not being accepted on social media. How many likes do you get? Um, you know, that can get to people. If you can realize why you're, what you're afraid of, you can really then use it as a strength. Um, because, you know, one of my greatest competitors, Anthony Matarese, said something one down and it really rang true with me that... Um, Missing tends to come from being careless or careful. And I'm never forgetting when he said that. And it's so true. You know, I need to hit this pair and you tighten up. Or 
oh, I've got this, and you miss. And I think that comes down from fear too. So it's, um, you know, it's an unplanned video. I'm just rambling, but I hope it, uh, hope it makes sense to some of you. If you can sit down, just jot some notes down. And if you do jot some notes down, you want me to take a look at them, just social media them across to me, send them on an inbox and I'll have a look because owning up to my inner demons and my inner fears certainly has helped me become the champion that I've become. And, uh, It's um, one of the big reasons that um, I still compete to this day. It's not because I love shooting. It's because the winning side of things and mastering, mastering that mental game keeps me going. It keeps me enthralled. And if you want to look at a mental book about the winning mind, it's called by Steve Backley, the javelin thrower that couldn't win anything. Greatest javelin thrower you could see, but just couldn't win anything. Um, it's, 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 a, it's an excellent, excellent insight in, into the mind games, and you know the mental, the mental game. Like I said, she was not really a mental game. It's having the ability to switch off. I think is impossible. When people say, "Oh my God, this happened," when I took the mindset, what is fear and excuses are two different things. You know, fear is something that's going to bother me, and I've got to learn to combat it. And excuses where I've just simply ran out of ideas, I missed, and I'm just going to come out with some bullshit that people are going to try and believe. But what I have decided in my shooting that when something doesn't go my way, I let it in, I deal with it, I spit it out, and I shoot a pair. You know, if I get a no bird, if I hear somebody talking behind me, um, you can't just simply say, I didn't hear that. You heard it. We all know you heard it. Whew, I have to go and get a coat on, getting a bit chilly. But the way I try to deal with things now is if something bothers me, if something encapsulates my mindset, I deal with it. I don't try and bat it away. I let it in. It's like, right, that idiot behind me just put me off. Deal with it, Ben. Deal with it, bite on it, spit the pips out and shoot the next peg. It's no longer an excuse because you know about it. So... My excuse is no longer an excuse because I let things in. I deal with a situation. Same as reading all this shit online about myself. I deal with it. I let it in. I deal with it. Realize that the people are irrelevant. Spit it out. Move on. Let's go and win the next shoot. So my advice to you guys, no matter whether you're C-class and feared of missing, double A-class and fear that if you miss the next one, it might cast you a national team spot, deal with fear you know embrace fear it certainly made me a better competitor um let things in let let the fear in deal with it and move on if you keep batting it away and batting it away and batting it away eventually that dam's going to break you know water keeps hitting that wall eventually it's going to break and that's what happens and it can be the biggest most important pair of your life and it breaks because you've not dealt with it and that's something that I can, is I'd love for you to take from this, is that let it in, let it in, let that problem in, deal with it, move it on and deal with the next pair. And this could be something that you have to do on every pair, you know, oh my God, if, you know, if you go into the last peg of a World English Sporting Championships, I've been there, you've got to hit the lot. You've got to hit the lot to win. You know, the fear is going to be there every pair, bang, bang, pair dead, okay, we're in three pairs to go let it in let it rock these, these are for the world championship so don't mess up okay that's my advice to you guys fear understand fear embrace fear take some notes what are you scared of when you go shooting what's the biggest fear in your head take the notes down send me the notes and i can start to do a video on how to deal with those fears but understand fear embrace fear beat fear and that's what i did all right be safe guys